How's it going, guys? Hope you guys are doing good. Back today with another real estate video. Switching it up a little bit this time. We're going outside the United States. So, um, I just picked a random country. Um, there's a couple that I was considering, um, but I ended up going with Spain. And apparently, uh, Zillow does not operate in Spain. Everyone uses this site called Idealista. Idealista. Um, so that's what we're on. And then I chose, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Valencia, Spain. Very pretty area, right on the water. A little lesser known than some of the, uh, the more famous areas. Um, but we're going to look at some properties there. Um, and then we may hop around to, uh, to other countries or even back to the U.S. if uh, I feel like these are played out. But typical disclaimer before we get started, you know, I'm not a financial, real estate, tax, or legal advisor. You know, this, this video is just for entertainment, just my two cents. So, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Consult a professional before you invest or buy real estate or any of that. Now, um, I'm going to be a little shabby with the, um, both the costs and the square footage. Um, so I have a tab here open to convert the square meters, since it's metric, to um, square feet. So like this house, for example, 207 square meters, that's almost 2,200 square feet, pretty big house. And the price, 870k. Uh, I think a year all right now, given the exchange rate, is like a dollar and five cents. So it's like slightly more than a dollar. So it's probably like 900 grand. Um, some of these looks like half 3D tours. It's probably going to kill my computer again, but um, we'll give it a go. So looks like you're kind of in a, a high rise building. Pretty dated television. Wow such an expensive place. I feel like that's going to be a, uh, a common theme when you're in these like kind of touristy cities. I think in the touristy cities you have to pay a lot more to get maybe something that's like older or has more character but the location is like fire. But if you like go further outside of the touristy areas you can get some really nice places for a lot cheaper than the U.S. At least that would, that's what I believe to be true. So this little middle area, living room area, dining room area, um, little landing area. What's over here? Bro, this place is a maze. Wow. Um, bathroom. Kind of a tiny shower, but uh, things are just different in Europe too, so... on okay yeah yeah it's right on the water um hopefully we'll see some right on the water because i don't think this place is directly on the water so we got a bedroom here pretty nice walk-in closet what the heck is that is that one of those app shaker things tried one has been a 
huge fan of them. So, you know, it's on it's on the bucket list for sure. See if we can make our way back to the front of the house. So this is the kitchen then. That's pretty cool. They got a little wine fridge, I think that is. Pretty clean modern kitchen given the uh, given the rest of the apartment. Interesting toaster there too. And they got the weird outlets because they're not American. And the laundry room is also right off the kitchen. I assume that's what this is. Maybe where are the actual laundry machines? Are they in this closet thing? Or is this not laundry? Am I tripping? Maybe they're in there. I don't know. I do not know. But this for 900 grand. So let's look at um. Is there, does it show it on the map? I kind of want to show Valencia, Spain. So if we just zoom out really quick. So you can see we're in Spain on the east side. Right, nestled in here, along the water, it's Valencia. So this property that I'm looking at here, I don't even know how their addresses work. There's a view map button here. Exact address not shown, okay. So they're not crazy close to the water, but not, I guess that's a decent ways away. Yeah, that's a decent ways away, but you know, it's, it's in the same town, so. Um, and I, you know, because this is a foreign area, I'm not gonna know anything about like the area. So for all I know, this is a really desirable area with nice restaurants and a lot of history and such. Um, I bet there's gonna be places on the water that go for crazy money. Let's see. This is an interesting site. It's like so much more dated than Zillow, you can tell. I'm surprised Zillow hasn't tried to, you know, move in on the market. I mean, I'm sure they have, but maybe they're having more of a rough time than you'd think. Um, draw your area. Oh, okay. Just like Zillow. list. Alright, alright, alright. So this one is 360 square meters. That's got to be huge. Oh my gosh, almost 3,900 square feet. That's massive. Everywhere has the virtual tours. That's really cool. Oh, they're probably counting the, um, this upper deck area as a, um, whatchamacallit, as square footage, or square meterage. <laughs> That's an interesting little grill there. Huge private area up here, which is pretty neat. Um, I guess that's like storage area. Kind of interesting. Um, up here we have a mini kitchen, two beds, little eating space, some storage. That's to go outside, probably. Then if I go down, pretty cool open staircase here. It looks like this place is actually three stories then. So I'll start off over here. Wow, this place is massive. Living room area, got a TV. It's connected to the kitchen, pretty open floor plan there. Um, little middle island table and a bedroom right off the kitchen, which is a little odd. Bathroom with a nice standing shower, walk-in shower and a bidet. Nice, nice. And then if we go down the hall, got a little, another bathroom. I noticed they don't have like, is a half bath not 
as popular abroad, like bathrooms without a shower or bath. It's just like a toilet and a sink. I don't think I've seen one yet, even though these houses are quite large and have multiple bathrooms. Now we got another like sitting area here. Another little guest bedroom maybe here. They have so much space in this house, I think they just like ran out of stuff to do with the space. Another looks like guest bedroom here, doesn't look like anyone's really using that. Little mini fridge. We go down here. Whoops. Or is that is that the entire apartment? There's no way this was four thousand square feet. Really? square feet. They're definitely counting this porch then. That's actually not as impressive as I thought, but you have a view of the water, which I guess is cool. Is this, is this not the same place? That's like a carbon copy. It's got, it's got to be the same place. like it was kid's bedroom and then it has a little balcony which is cool um i guess this is the front door here so this is kind of like a landing area got another bedroom off that and then if you come in take a right there's a nice bathroom pretty modern honestly i like the tile in this place this place has a lot of stone and granite and stuff this is kind of cool I don't often see people with like dressers in their bathrooms, but I guess that's kind of useful. Then if we come in here, very cool kitchen. I like these windows a lot. Although you can kind of see into your neighbor's windows right here. That's kind of creepy. Uh, but I'm sure you get used to it. And then we got another bathroom here with an interesting little capsule looking shower. No bidet, no bidet, no luxuries in this one. Or are we already in here? Oh no, we weren't in here. This place is a little maze. Got a little laundry room. It's probably one of those combo washer dryers. Maybe they have to wash it here and then dry it out. I 
outside because I see some people have, um, I know that's barbed wire. Oh yeah, clothing racks right here. I'm tripping. That's clothing, that's clothing wraps. Barbed wire. <laughs> Silly me. Um, got another bedroom here or something. It looks like they didn't show it. It's from the kids' room. Not a bad place. About 2,000 square feet on the third floor. Decently modern for about 350 grand and you're within walking distance of the beaches. You know, you probably have to pay more for that, more for uh, something like this if you want to have it in a hot area in the U.S. You know, something like this in like a Miami or something else would probably go for twice as much easily um, with how close it is to the water. It's like a block or two, I believe. Here we got a house. Looks pretty old, but that can also be cool because they have some nice architecture. The yard needs a little bit of work. Wow, this is old place. 460 square meters, Jesus Christ. 5,000 square feet, that's massive. What are you gonna do with all that space? This place definitely needs some work though and they're asking over 900 grand for it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's too much to ask. Well, what do I know, but I, I wouldn't be interested in something like that. Some of these are really run down. It's interesting. Like, are these people just asking too much? Or is there genuinely no interest? Yeah, it looks just super dilapidated. Got graffiti all over their wall and stuff. It's, it's like an old cartel mansion. It's a really cool looking place. All these different like balconies and stuff. Cool covered porch. That's the beach right over there. You can see it. Super close, super close. They must just be asking too much for this place or else someone would have bought it and fixed it up, I would have thought. These are definitely mock-ups. Where is it? Right here, I think. Yeah, so there's literally a resort in between, but you literally walk down across the street, right around, and you're on the beach. That's pretty, uh, that this is how they show floor plans in or maybe it's just a cellar but I've never seen someone show floor plans sideways because what if there's multiple uh, like rooms or is it just that narrow of a house I guess I don't know here we got a duplex for about 235k 101 square meters 1100 square feet about tiny little balcony you can see the water though cool tile floors must be the living room they just keep showing pictures of this same room dining room area because it's the stairs where you come up This is in your house. I was thinking that was the front build, in front of the building, but maybe not. Got a bidet, bedroom. It's just interesting to see like how they do architectural stuff and just like basic building things abroad. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen a window like this in the states. Um, but like it makes perfectly good sense. Um, I feel like it's. It's honestly easier probably to open the ones that swing open, but then again, it like sticks out into your home, so I don't know. That may be a clothing rack or something they got outside, can't tell. Um, very cool looking area though, very cool. some other places uh, in Europe or elsewhere. I'm sure there's some, some cool 